One, two, three. I got a really interesting email from a pilot not too long ago. He said he had a six cell battery pack that he flew on a, on a uh, I assume a big model airplane and it was a, on a hot day and uh, he flew it and after he landed he noticed that the battery pack had puffed up but then he, he charged it up, discharged it and the puffiness went away which, which I, I think is very unusual so he, want, he, he was wondering is it okay to continue using this battery pack well you know in an ideal world I, I will say no don't trust it, throw it out, buy a new one but he may have $100 invested in there and, and I know if it were me, I wouldn't just throw it out, I would probably do some testing on it first. Um, I have never heard of a battery pack, uh, you know, the puffiness going away the way he described it. So I will, be, I will take a very good look at it, maybe it got, it got punctured somehow, which wouldn't be a good thing. But uh, what, he, what he really needs to do is to use a discharge cycle on a charger to measure the capacity because from my experience that's what that's what tends to happen you tend to lose capacity in in the pack and I've seen this from puffiness and also from crash damage when there's a dent in there so so measure the capacity make sure it's still enough for your needs uh, the battery pack is probably going to be good for a long time you know usually uh, I will measure the internal resistance that's that's I don't think it'll be as as useful as a discharge test but something to keep an eye on also and, and it goes without saying if it's a big airplane especially uh, uh, a, an expensive airplane you should be using a separate receiver battery pack so that if you lose power in the motor you, you don't lose control of the airplane and um, good luck until next time